particular form allows users to submit a TRIP request for approval. The form was built in InfoPath and then published to a SharePoint site. The form has three levels of approval that you will be able to define. So let's open up this form and take a look at some of the features. When the user first opens up the form, they have the ability to enter their name, they can enter additional travelers, their department, purpose of the trip, such as client meeting, conference, training, or other. If applicable, they can enter the training or conference name, the location of their trip, the date that they're leaving and the date that they're returning, and then they can enter in some estimated expenses. So here they can enter in estimated lodging, estimated transportation, and then estimated other expenses. And then they can also enter in estimated meal reimbursement expenses. They can determine whether they are going to use the traditional method of reimbursement for meals or if they're going to use the per diem method. If they click per diem, it will bring up the site where they can search for the per diem rate for the particular state that they're traveling to. And then they can enter in the estimated meal total. The form will then total all of the estimated expenses that have been entered at the bottom. Next, they just choose the manager that will approve the form and then click Submit. The form then moves to the first level of approval. In this example, that's the manager. And here we can see the next approver as well. They would open up this form. They can see a read-only view of what the requester has entered. They can make comments and then choose which VP in this situation will approve. Once they enter in the name, they can just click Approve or Reject. And then the form moves to the next level of approval. The next approver can see the previous approver's comments and then who approved it and on what date. They can enter in their comments and click Approve. And now the form is at the final level of approval. So the final approver is an admin. They can look at the form and pull any information that they need. They can see the previous two approvers. And then when they're finished, they can click Approve. And then now that all three levels have approved, the form is at a completed status. An email can be sent to the requester, letting them know that the trip has been approved. They can open up the form, and they can see all of the comments and the approvals. Now let's take a couple of steps back and say that this form is still at that first level of approval. The manager notices that maybe one of the totals is a little too high or the date's wrong, so they add in some comments and then click reject. Since the form has been rejected, an email can be sent to the requester with this form comment letting them know why it's been rejected. And then they can open up the form. They can see that comment and who it was rejected by. They can click originator, modify, and resubmit. Make the change that was requested. and click Submit. And now the form will go back through the regular approval process. The manager will receive it again, see that the change was made, and then they can go ahead and approve. This would be the same process no matter what level it is rejected on. The requester will be able to go back in, modify, and resubmit the form.